So this is my 82-320 that's in the garage here for the winter. Still need some love. The uh, paint is in serious need of restoration. It's got a uh, M50 turbo in it. With a Borg Warner EFR 7064. Um, the engine was rebuilt a few years back. Not a lot of miles on it. It's uh, controlled by a BEMS plug and play ECU. Uh, cage, caged, uh, whole interior stripped out. Lots of suspension work. Still need to do some more work to the rear differential to get it up to power capabilities. Right now it's the stock uh, limited slip. I just can't handle the increased uh, power that this engine is going to put out. It sits in there a little different than other people's engines because my front suspension, my subframe has been raised couple inches which uh, changes the clearance for the oil pan so the engine is sits higher so it's angled a little more than other people's engines. It fits in there it's a little tight all around but fits good goes good right now we've got the power turned down to 250 wheel horse because of the uh, rear differential not quite having enough for it. This last year, I, uh, as part of uh, refreshing the engine, because I had previously had an M10 turbo in it, and that was definitely lacking. It uh, had some pretty good power, but it was just all or nothing. So it didn't have the torque, or this engine just has the basic torque that it needs to power itself. This last year I did a lot of work rewiring the entire chassis of the car. Um, so all the chassis wiring is all new and powered by a micro PDM uh, PDM setup. It, does, uh, being a plug and play car, it does have the factory wiring still in the car, which was mostly tucked into the rain tray there. It runs pretty good. Or really, even at a low boost, you know, it's basically three pounds of boost right now, so it's not even really getting into turbo at all. But it's, uh, much better than ever was with the M10 turbo. style easy wiring I think it was a brand uh, fuse box it was a m more modern fuse box than what the BMW had originally which had lots of corrosion issues and patched wires it wasn't upgraded at the time but it just was didn't fit the car it was way too long the plugs didn't really match up I and mean, made for a carbureted car not a fuel injected it just didn't really work and so I replaced that with a brand new uh, 96 pin fuse box and I did a lot of work to try to uh, figure out the best uh, alignment of all my fuses and relays and how it was all going to be set up and how my wiring was and made diagrams for what wires controlled what and where they all went between the PDM and how the PDM signals different things and where uh, and how everything all interacted. So a lot of work laying this out, but it really helped out a lot to do this work ahead of time. 
And this is just an example of just how bad the previous wiring was. It was just a, a light that was just super corroded. So I replaced all the lights with LEDs, 3D printed these little um, holders, and then epoxied and silicone those in place to keep them nice and sealed up and new. And this is the fuse box all completed with all the brand new wires and all loomed out and ready to install. So the entire car has been rewired with all new wiring uh, as part of a PDM uh, chassis harness. Uh, that's including a new fuse box installed here with two micro PDM relays control uh, basically all the functions of the chassis and brand new fuses installed here. So I am using a E30 dash cover this is typically used to cover cracks on an E30 dash. I'm using that as a lightweight dashboard that gives me a shape that I more uh, I like better than the E21 dashboards. Um, so I'm using these two keypads to control the uh, car. This one is going to get mounted over in the uh, left side of the steering wheel, and this is the, the center one that has more some of the controls that you know the heat and the lights. So you turn the key on, and like I said, this is gonna be mounted over on the left side of the car. You have, press this button, and this activates the um, scavenge pump for my toil, my turbo, and this is the um, fans. Uh, right now I have it set up that this is running off the switch, but I am gonna be connecting that to a temperature sensor. And this is the uh, starter. So the car starts and runs great. And it's currently connected to the VEMS display, which is a Bluetooth connected uh, display using an Android tablet. Uh, has all the different uh, display things that you might care about. I am going to replace the Android tablet with a more dedicated uh, uh, display. This is a VEMS Dash V3 MS VEMS Dash, and uh, I 3D printed this model to help me design my uh, install mounting. So this is going to be a more dedicated display rather than uh, having to wait for the Android to boot up. This is definitely a much faster display. So when the car is turned on, um, all the controls are done with this, uh, with this keypad. Um, you have the headlights, the marker lights, high beams, low beams, switches, wipers. <laughs> Roster fan. This is the uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter. This is the um, dashboard lights power, uh, which also power my uh, display. You got your turn signals and your hazard lights. And this is the line lock and eventually will power will be connected to the uh, eventually be connected to the um, ECU for launch control. So I've got the fuse box mounted underneath the dashboard here and you can see the primary PDM, the secondary PDM relay. These are all the relays I'm putting the functions and then all my Fuses that I have. Thanks for watching. This made a huge improvement on the car's electronics and wiring. 
I plan to do some more uh, videos that shows a lot more detail about the programming and how this is all set up with the PDMs. And hopefully you'll follow along. Thanks. So please like and subscribe.